Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullah. Oh, as soon as I start speaking, that bird starts singing. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to plant out my squash, my pumpkins and my courgettes. And if I get a chance, I'm going to even put in some of my sweet corn. Um, on my June um, garden tour, I showed you what my sweet corn, the state of my garden and what my sweet corn are looking at looking like these f1 incredible these have come up really nice and then the, there's the other variety i forget the name right now but they're really stunted and really small and i think that's because i plant them, because i planted them in the toilet rolls i don't think they've come out as well as they should have done um, whereas these ones that i've planted in the free soil they've come out really nice so the vision for this bed is down this side i'm gonna have courgettes because with the courgettes, we're going to be constantly picking them, so they want to be close to the edge, so you're not leaning into the bed. And in the middle of the bed, I'm going to plant all the pumpkins, and just leave them there, and just fill it with pumpkins in the middle, and squash. And where we've taken out the garlic, over in that bed, uh -huh, I've leveled it out, and we're planting a few bean plants, and what I'm going to do there is, I'm going to... Add, add a layer of mulch and I'm going to fill that with pumpkins as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just peeling back this mulch. And once I've peeled back this mulch, I'm going to plant um, this courgette into here so I'm going to make a small planting hole just remove that soil for a second and I add loads of more homemade compost there's lots of manure in here I mean these beds were manured over winter um, so they're very, uh, and the, there's been nothing grown in here this season yet. So um, we've mulched this bed with loads of manure, loads of wood chips, and now um, in the planting hole, I've just added some compost. I'm going to take the plant and I'm just going to spread the roots out first because all the soil came straight off as soon as we planted, you know, dug it up. And then I'm just going to cover it up and just firm it in. I'll bring the mulch back around it. Some of that other existing soil that was already there, I'll just crumple that up and add it to the top. With this bed, what we'll do is we'll do the three sisters. So um, we've got the peas, we've got the courgettes, and we'll plant uh, pumpkins as well. Uh, sorry, we'll plant the sweet corn as well. I've got my sweet corn here. These are my F1 Incredible. Um, we planted two varieties of sweet corn. One of them uh, was, it felt really pathetic. Um, we planted those, I think it's down to the fact that I planted those in, in toilet rolls for some reason it suppressed the growth um, but these ones that that, that I've planted in this um, window box these have come up brilliant nice and strong they've been out hardening off for the last uh, week and a half so these are ready to go in, into the ground I've, what I've done with the ones in the toilet rolls I've potted them up into uh, small pots I've taken them out of the toilet rolls potted them into small pots I'm gonna let the roots establish a little bit and then I'm gonna get them out in the ground so um, what we'll do first of all is we'll plant the courgettes down this side um, I think we'll get we've got enough space down this side to get four plants in so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel back the mulch and this bed it was mulched with quite heavily with uh, manure and wood chips so hopefully over the course of winter the worms have worked those wood chips and, the, and that manure into the ground so when um, 
all I'm going to do to the planting hole is I'm going to add some compost. So I'll just loosen up the soil first of all. And I'm going to take this middle chunk out. So this is a more recent bed. Um, this whole bed was the last bed that we made in the garden. And the soil is still quite quite tough. Um, it's still quite a heavy clay. So I'll just loosen that up. But, but it's teeming with life though. Lovely, lovely earthworms. Take another handful out. I'm going to fill it with compost. Just mix that in a little bit into the planting hole. The one that I'm going to plant. Let's plant this one. Uh, that's not a courgette, that's a pumpkin. Let's wait for a second with that one. This is a courgette. I might have to make that planting hole a little bit bigger. There's a ro rogue carrot in here as well. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that carrot where it is. There we go. That'll be fine. Now that soil that I dug up, I'll just use that to pack in around that compost base. There's a little earthworm coming out to say hello. It's a nice little red wriggler that. Just look at the bands on that. Really nice. I'll put that back in the compost pile and then it can find its way to somewhere else. I'll just pull, pull the mulch back over the soil and that'll help keep the moisture in and stop it from drying out. There we go. So this one's been planted on a little bit of a mound. I'm going to plant peas in between. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plant some peas. Um, I had a bit of a nightmare with the peas that I planted for the second uh, crop. When I planted those the squirrels got them. We saw the squirrels come in and uh, really have a go and dig up the peas that I'd planted. It took away a lot of the a lot of my peas for the second sowing. So um, I found a packet of seeds that Kelly from my UK homestead had sent me. And these are purple monge too. So I'm just gonna pop these in next to um, my courgettes. Some compost in there. <laughs> I'll pull the mulch back over the top. So another one here, and again I'll just pull the mulch back over the top. I think we'll do one more, just on this side. 
See, traditionally the Three Sisters is done with courgette um, squash. Um, beans and um, sweet corn on this side because because peas are ready a lot earlier than sweet um, beans I'm planting uh, the peas here so it's close to the edge of the bed where you can just just easily grab it with your hands so it won't be so it won't be leaning into the beds So those peas are coming up a little bit, I can see that. A seed. So there, I think they're fine. Let's get that covered again with the mulch. And that's that. So we've got um, two courgettes planted. We've got a few peas, peas planted in. Uh, I think that's good for that side. And what we'll do is we'll start planting. Um, we're not going to just plant the sweet corn in rows. What we'll do with them is we'll plant them in um, a grid. Because sweet corn's wind pollinated, if you plant them in a in a grid, uh, when they flower, um, you want the pollen from one sweet corn to brush onto the next one. So well, that's what that's the next thing that we'll do now is we'll plant some of the sweet corn, but we'll plant it in a grid. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plant out my sweet corn and plant them in a grid. Come on. Oh yeah. So this is the reason that I went for the Blue roll, trying to trying to plant the sweet corn in the blue rolls, so it'd be easier to take out. Uh, oh, look at the roots on those! Beautiful. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Let's pull those apart. I'm gonna plant them. In a square. I plant them sort of that distance apart. And it's just about it's just about a foot apart. So rain stop play there. We just had a quick heavy, quite heavy shower. Um, so we <laughs> all took shelter in the greenhouse. Now what I'm gonna do is again just make a small I've just cleared the mulch out in a small a straight line so just so I can see where I'm planting. So I've just left that on the top, the worms would work it in. Let's just give them a little helping hand. All those roots want to go in to the bottom. I shouldn't have put that mulch on straight away uh, and I'll tell you why in just a second because I forgot to do one of the essential parts of my three sisters. <laughs> so uh, let's see. And I'll let you guess what that is. <laughs> it's typical. Get into uh, the flow of things and I forget important parts of what I'm trying to show you <laughs> but not to worry I'll get there in the end so that's the we'll keep going another one in <sighs> 
So you might think, why do I remove this soil? I mean, I'd, I'd just take it away for a little while. I take it away, add it to the compost pile, and it gets very quickly added back to uh, added back to here. So it's not disappearing for very long. These roots are absolutely lovely. I'm really impressed with these roots. So that's the way to go. Um, don't plant the sweet corn in the in the low roll middles. Don't do what I did. Right, so that's my row of sweet corn uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some beans and these are my dragon tongue beans. So if I just pop them there for a second and just at the base of the um, sweet corn I'm going to plant two beans per plant now the theory with this is that the sweet corn is a nitro because it's a grassy type of crop it's from the grass family it's a nitrogen loving plant and because it's a nitrogen loving plant it, 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 and it's very, a very hungry plant by planting the beans with it what we're doing is the beans are a legume and they fix nitrogen to the earth so while the beans are fixing nitrogen to the earth the sweet corn is sucking up the nitrogen so the beans are actually feeding the nitrogen the beans are actually feeding the sweet corn and at the same time the beans are feeding the um, the squash and the courgettes so it's working like a partnership um, the sweet corn provides structure for the beans to climb up so it's a nice little partnership that um, the Native Americans this is the way they used to plant it and it's been adopted quite a bit I know the varieties have changed quite a bit since since they probably initially started um, and, we've, and we, we're planting now, but the theory still remains the same. In the past, I've had mixed results with um, with the three sisters. Um, some years they've been it's been all right, and some years it's been a bit hit and miss. But let, I've got a good feeling about this year. I've got a different variety of beans that I'm trying it trying with. The sweet corn's a lot bigger, so let's see if we can get away with it this year. Let's see how it gets on. <laughs> 